Hey everyone, Ben back from Living Survival and today I have another fridge freezer from Set Power. I reviewed a larger one a few weeks back and now I got a smaller one that's going to be perfect for my subcompact SUV for camping, for extended car living. No problem, it works great. It's nice and small, nice and lightweight, nice and portable and you can pretty much set it up as a fridge or a freezer. Now it doesn't have the feature set of the larger one, but it also doesn't have the price tag. And stay tuned to the end of the video because I have some coupon codes that you can re receive 15% off any of the set power products. So in a previous review, I reviewed this fridge freezer from set power. 45 quart it's quite big great for car camping for overlanding you know rving van life car life great for when you need to go on those extended adventures and you have room for something this big again 45 quart it is dual zone so it can be set up um, as not only a fridge a freezer or it can be set to both one zone can be fridge one zone can be freezer it also has other features like a light on the inside, a drain plug, and then you can also reverse the lid. If you want to see the review on this, just go back in my videos or I'll link it below. I wanted something a little bit smaller for my SUV since I'm planning on setting this up for car camping, for extended you know, car living. Um, so I have a quite a bit smaller fridge freezer from Set Power, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So this is Set Power's FC12 fridge freezer. Now it's not dual zone like the uh, the one that I previously showed. It is a single zone, but it can be set up as a fridge or a freezer. It's got uh, temperature controls that'll go up to 50 degrees and down to zero degrees. So you can set it up either way, and you can see that it is quite a bit smaller. There is grab handles on the side, quite a bit lighter, and it's going to work perfect for solo camping living out of the car for an extended period of time or car camping which is what I'm setting the car up to be able to do. The FC12 is a 13.5 quart so you're going to be able to get considerably less stuff in there but again for me loading this up with drinks maybe some proteins um, some vegetables it's going to work perfect for me. It comes with the same uh, DC adapter you can see I have it plugged into my battery bank here it's only drawing one watt it draws between one and two watts when it's on standby mode and then it kicks up to about 45 watts uh, when it runs now with this battery bank I can run this thing for days at a time and I can simply just keep my battery bank powered via solar or powered via the car when I'm traveling from place to place it does have the same features as far as I believe all their coolers do there's a display here I'll zoom in on that but basically with this display you can um, obviously turn it on and off you can set it to max in eco mode which I leave it on eco mode most of the time and then you can adjust the temperature between 50 degrees and zero degrees so I have it set at about 40 degrees right now um, does have a nice wide open lid to it that opens you know beyond the top of the cooler so you can set things like you know a six pack in here no problem I just have some drinks in here right now it's nice and cold um, so that's really nice it's just a nice portable little unit here it runs really really quiet you can barely hear it when it's running the FC 12 as with most of their fridge freezers I believe are off-road rated so it can handle bumps it can handle going up uh, an incline and have no problems with that but what I like about it is that it runs very very efficiently on my battery uh, bank I can set it on that eco mode and run this thing for days no matter what I have in it and again it's very very lightweight it's very very small and compact so it doesn't take up much room it just slides in the side of my vehicle uh, it's really rugged you know it's it's uh, this nice casing on it um, have no issues with that there's nothing sticking out the sides like the handles are nice and flush which is great so if you're looking for something that doesn't take up a lot of space you know this is going to be the ticket for you and as I mentioned it cools down really quickly if you know I could kick it down to you know let's say like 20 degrees or something like that and it will kick on and again it draws about 45 watts um, from my 500 uh, watt hour uh, battery bank so no problem with that it just kicked on I can feel that it just kicked on but I absolutely can't even hear it if I be really quiet you can you can sort of hear it but it's it's just very minimal noise you could easily sleep with this thing running next to you 
no problems whatsoever. It's got vents on both sides, so obviously you want to keep those, you know, uh, keep anything from covering those completely, but you can certainly set things next to it. Um, I've had no problem with that. I've had this thing running in my car for several days just to uh, test it out and see how it works. As I mentioned, I have it hooked up to DC power on my battery bank right now. It is fused, so that's nice. You can also pop out the DC power and get an AC adapter that plugs right in there if you wanted to plug this guy into the wall. But generally, I'm just going to use this for, you know, a fridge. Um, keep it up at about 40 degrees, and that way it's going to run on its eco mode. And, and like I said, with my 500 watt uh, or my 500 watt hour uh, battery bank, this thing can run for days. Now there is some discounts on this, I believe, up until the 15th of this month, so a couple more days. Um, you can get 15% off. I know this unit, and I believe maybe some of their other units. I have an Amazon code that I'll list below. So if you guys want to pick one of these up, do it before the 15th, and you can get that 15% off. Or I also have a 12% off um, that you can get off of Set Power's website. So I'm going to leave links to the Amazon store where you guys can get 15% off with the code, and then links to their um, other store uh, or their website where you can get 12% off. Now that 12% off code does not have an end date. So if you're watching this video past the 15th, no problem. You can still get 12% off any of their awesome fridge freezers. These things are, you know, they're made tough. Um, you could definitely set things on top. I'm not sure I would sit or stand on this one. The other one, definitely, you could sit and stand on that, no problem. This one, I probably wouldn't stand on it, um, but it just works really good. It's really, really easy to do. They even have a little chart in here that tells you, you know, um, temps that you want to set things at. So things like water and drinks uh, and juice, 41 degrees, so I have it set at 40. These are nice and cold. Um, you get down into, like, meats. Uh, they want that at zero degrees, seafood 27 degrees, frozen food zero. So this, uh, you know, unit here can be run as a fridge and a freezer. And if you have to cool it down, you can easily cool that down. Again, you're only getting 13.5 quarts, but for me as a solo camper um, or living in my car for an extended period of time, this is the way to go for me versus having the bigger unit. If I had a truck or something or an RV, um, the other unit would be what I would take. And if we're going car camping with everybody for an extended period of time, we would certainly take the bigger one. But I love this little guy here. These do come in different sizes. They have different series, whether you want a fridge freezer combo with dual zone or you just want one that can do both. Um, they have different series on their website, so I'll be sure to put links to all that stuff as well. So hope you guys enjoyed that video today and give it a big thumbs up for me. Links will be below in the description. I hope you guys choose to leave a comment below. Comments, likes, shares, and of course subscribing really helps me and my channel uh, with Google's algorithm. Really helps increase viewership. So if you guys would take a moment and hit that like button, find that subscribe button, click it, click that notification, and I'll be back with another video real soon.